number of weeks ago I published a video on YouTube about this instrument here. This is a piccolo trombone, the highest member of the trombone family. And uh, if you want to see that video, it is somewhere in this general area. Click on this space and uh, you'll be taken to that video. I'm not going to repeat too much information that is uh, available in that video, but what I've been asked since that video was published is to explain a little bit more about this trombone and particularly to compare it to other members of the trombone family. So to do that, I'm going to introduce you to what a standard trombone looks like. This fellow here is a B flat F tenor trombone. It's in the key of B flat. It is a full two octaves lower than a piccolo trombone. If we take this trombone and put the piccolo trombone right next to it, we get some idea of the difference in size and how small this actually is. Comparing the bell sizes, we are met with a similar example of contrasts. The slides this one is quite long this one is uh, very short it's not very easy to demonstrate but hopefully this video will serve to give some idea about the difference in scale this trombone can fit entirely within the trigger wrap of this of, of a standard tenor trombone there is actually a trombone between the tenor and the piccolo in size. And that one is introduced uh, in another video I've published which is going to be available by clicking in this general direction. And that trombone is called a soprano trombone. And this is one here. This trombone is a full octave lower than a piccolo trombone and yet it is a full octave higher than its bigger brother, the tenor trombone. The bottom note, bottom C, if we're talking in treble clef or concert B flat, if you're talking as, a, as an orchestral musician, an orchestral trombonist, sounds like this. If we play the same note, the same written note on this piccolo trombone, it sounds like this. And then on the tenor trombone. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate the tonal differences on these trombones. same phrase sounds like this on the soprano trombone. That phrase, and I'm sorry this is going to sound awful, on a piccolo trombone roughly sounds like this. disadvantage of this instrument from a mechanical sense is that it doesn't have all seven positions. Count them with me.
that last position is right on the very end of the slide and so this slide is usually going to fall off if you try to hit a sixth position note with any sort of enthusiasm. Compare that to the soprano trombone which does have all seven. What I'm going to try and do now is, uh, is uh, muck my way through uh, the Carnival of Venus. This is the Arbin's variation of it. This the introduction. I'm going to give up there. There's no way that if I can play this, it's no way it's going to be uh, worth listening to. So this video, I hope, has been a little bit uh, more uh, informative. I'm hoping that it has explained a little bit more between the differences and the physical size differences between this piccolo trombone, the soprano trombone, and its big brother, the tenor trombone. Thanks very much for watching.